if you want to hit crazy red contest shots, this is going to be the video for you. I'm going over every single tip, every single shooting secret that I know personally in this game. And at the very end, I'm going to be giving y'all the best jump shots. Like I'm pulling from the rec logo with no tape. If you want to be shooting like that, shooting full courts, it don't matter what build you on, y'all. I got clips in here from my, my point guards all the way to my centers, y'all. Whatever build you on, if you want to be pulling like this, contested inside the circle, y'all, make sure you watch this full video. Look, this is my center. My center. I'm shooting red contest on a center build, y'all. And one on my center. Okay, so make sure you guys watch this full video. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe. Go down to the comments, y'all. But here's the verse of the video. Psalm 105. Tell of all his wondrous works, y'all. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people, y'all. If you know all the wondrous works that God has been doing in your life and for others, y'all, make sure you go down to the comments. Y'all know this is a Christian channel, man, so what's more important to me than the game, what's more important, like I'm waiting for him to come contest me, it still says open. What's more important than 2K and the shooting wreck and test is Jesus Christ, is God, and making sure that, you know, everything's okay in your life spiritually. But without further ado, let's get right on into these tips, man. Look, you see I'm shooting crazy shots on my center. The number one tip, the absolute number one tip that I can give you if you're struggling with shooting in NBA 2K24, if you want to shoot crazy shots, the number one thing is you got to stay confident, y'all. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but if you want to hit contested shots, I know I have Mamba, but if you want to hit contested shots from the circle inside the circle, y'all, you have to believe that you can hit it. You have to believe that that's a good shot. You know, a lot of people in this game are scared to shoot. A lot of people in this game are scared to shoot, y'all. They're scared to make mistakes. They're scared to, to make a wrong play, to look bad or whatever, y'all. You have to get over that. For one, this game is not even that good in the first place, y'all. It's just 2K24, okay? It's not even the best 2K. It's not the best basketball game. If you miss a shot, who cares? If it's a 100% smothered, y'all, who cares? You can still hit these type of shots, man. If you want to be able to be a really, really tough elite shooter to hit crazy shots, you got to take them, y'all. You got to take those shots to make those shots, you feel me? And a lot of people are too scared to even take these type of shots. Even in Mamba, even in TakeOver, I made sure I put clips in here um, without TakeOver, without heat check, none of that, y'all. Look, this right here, a lot of people are scared to take shots like that. And that's not even a crazy shot, y'all. That's another thing I wanted to mention is having a bag. Like, sometimes you can just catch and shoot and shoot contested right over him, y'all. That was the first play of the game, and I'm shooting contested. But having a bag will also help you be a much better shooter, y'all. Because if all you can do is catch and shoot, if all you can do is spot up, then that's easier and more predictable for the defense to guard. Okay, and even if they do contest it, if you're confident, if you know your timing, you can still knock down a contested catch and shoot. A contested um this corner shot or spot up shot y'all you can still knock it down but i'm saying when you have different moves to add into your bag when you can shoot the three ball when you can shoot the mid-range when you can shoot step backs like i'm shooting a step back over two people i see my boy he's wide at the top but i don't care y'all i'm telling y'all you have to be confident with these types of shots if you're gonna take them you gotta make them y'all and that's the mentality you gotta have look he hit me late but i still shot it you feel what I'm saying, y'all? Get over this scared to shoot mentality, the what if I miss mentality, y'all. I'm telling you, just shoot it. Just shoot it. I don't care if it's contested, man. With the with the way that 2K24 is, y'all, the contest system is so broken anyway. Do y'all think that's open? I mean, his hands are down, but it says open. But it'll be other times when... Like, it should be a red contest, but it says open. It'll be other times that it should be open, but it's a red contest. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Like, the game is fundamentally broken, y'all. You can literally get away with 25 defense on your build, and, and that's solid. So, I'm telling y'all, the way the contest system is, it's just broken in this game. Stuff that's supposed to be open is contested. Stuff that's contested is, is open. I'm telling y'all, just shoot it. I don't care. Just shoot it, y'all. That's the mentality that you have to have, man. If they're there, they're not there. You feel me? Like, it's two of them right there, but they're not there. 
You feel me? If they're there, they're not there. If you care, you don't care. You feel me, y'all? That's the mentality I need y'all to have on this game. On No matter what build you're on, if you're on a, a point guard, a center, a shooting guard, like that right there, I literally waited for him to come contest me, and it still said open. So, like, I don't know what to say about that, y'all. Like, it's just the way that the game is designed. The 2K devs don't understand how to implement, like, shot contests efficiently. Like, that's open. That's an open shot, y'all. That's a good shot in, in terms of 2K. So a lot of y'all are scared to shoot. Just shoot it. And, and when y'all start shooting crazy shots, y'all start to get a feel for what's what 2K is going to call open and what 2K is going to call contested. Okay, so just make sure you got to take these shots to make these shots. Y'all, a lot of players are even scared to just take these type of shots. I'm telling y'all, I know that's a spin jumper, three-pointer in Mamba. Just shoot it. Just shoot it, y'all. And that's another tip that I wanted to give y'all. I, I made sure to put clips in here of me without takeover. But especially in takeover, especially if you have heat check, you can literally pull anything in this game, y'all. You can literally pull the circle inside the circle, red contest from half court and rec and pro-am, whatever. It doesn't matter, y'all. Especially if you have takeover, if you have mamba, especially if you have heat check, don't be scared to let it fly. Don't be scared to shoot it, even if it's contested, y'all, if you time it correctly. Here's a gem. I know Chalk did a video on this, y'all. But even if it's 100% smothered, time it the exact same as if it was wide open. Like, a lot of people complain, oh, it sped me up. Oh, it slowed me down. It really didn't, though. It really didn't. The way the game works, y'all, it really doesn't slow you down or speed you up. You might get a ghost contest, but I'm telling you, if you time it the exact same, if you time it the exact same, is it doesn't speed you up and it doesn't slow you down, y'all. It's the same jump shot timing, whether you're wide open or 100% smothered, y'all. I'm telling you, look, contested, I'm damn near at half court. I'm, in, I'm almost inside the circle. That was on my 5'8". No take, I'm just catching and shooting. I'm telling y'all, like, you have to be confident enough to take these shots. I'm in pro-am with it on my 5'8", shooting red contest. You feel me? Coming up the court, they don't want to guard me. I'm pulling from logo. It's stuff like that, y'all. Even without take, I'm pulling from logo. It's shots like this, man. If you want to make shots like these, you got to take shots like these, y'all. And once you start taking them, you'll really get a feel for what's truly contested, what 2K is going to consider a good shot. But I'm telling y'all, the game is broken. The game is broken, y'all. Make sure that you know how to dribble. You know how to get crab shots. You know, like, just even stuff like this. I'm hiding behind the screen. It's kind of deep. But if you're scared to shoot that, y'all, then you can't make a shot like that. You feel me? You got to take it to make it, y'all. And another thing I wanted to mention is my, if you look at all my players, I'm left-handed on all my players, y'all. And I've been doing, I've been going left-hand since, like, 2K16, 17. I've always been left-handed, y'all. But I'm telling you, if you're left-handed, understand, like, what direction you need to be on the court. You need to be on the left side or the right side. Understand, if you're left-handed, you get better fades going to the left. If you're right-handed, you get better fades going to the right. Okay, it's just like in real life. I'm right-handed in real life, so going to my right is an easier shot than going to my left. Or, or maybe it's vice versa, but I'm telling y'all, understand that... If you're left-handed, hey, shout out um, Icon Marauder. He's a, a newer YouTuber that be hitting crazy shots. He low-key inspired this whole video, so make sure y'all go check out his channel. But Marauder, one of the things he mentioned that a lot of people don't understand in this game. If I'm left-handed and somebody is on my right side, they're going to have a harder time contesting it. So it's going to say open. Okay, so if I'm left-handed and, and my defender is on my left side, that's a heavier contest. It's just like in real life, y'all. I'm going to give y'all the gem for those of y'all that hoop in real life. If you're playing against somebody who's right-handed, when you jump and contest at them, make sure you use your left hand to contest, y'all, because it's going to give you a, a better contest. You just get a couple extra inches of reach to where if you jump with, with the right hand, depending on um, like the, the, uh, the shooter, what are they left-handed or right-handed, if you jump with the left hand or right hand, the opposite hand that they have, so if they're right-handed, contest them with your left hand. If they're left-handed, contest them with your right hand. That can be the difference between a block and a, a, a bucket. 
So it's the same concept in 2K, y'all. If somebody, if you're left-handed and they're on your right side, that's going to be an easier shot than if you're right-handed and they're on your right side. If they're hugging your shooting hand, that's going to be a heavier contest. But if they're off of your shooting hand, that's going to be an easier shot, y'all. That's a gem that not a lot of people know, not a lot of people understand. But if you really understand that mechanic and take the time to shoot these types of shots and really lab it, you'll get the feel for how it actually works and what 2K is going to call open, what 2K is going to call um, contested. So I'm telling y'all, what, what's another shooting tip, man? I feel like I'm forgetting something. The number one tip is to stay confident. It doesn't matter if they can test it or not, y'all. Still shoot it. Um, you also got to have a bag, be able to hit all different types of shots, not just catch and shoot, but be able to hit phase, be able to do spin shots, back phase, step backs, cap, all that stuff in your bag, y'all. If you have takeover, do not be scared to let it fly. Um, what else? Another thing, y'all, if you're shooting limitless like that, that was like damn near at the circle. If you're going to shoot shots that are limitless, then it's really, really precise on the timing, okay? I will say that it does speed you up just a little bit when you're shooting from limitless. Like if I'm pulling from half court, it's not the same timing as if I'm just shooting a corner three. So if you want to really be pulling like that, y'all, you have to start taking these shots in order to make these shots. You're not going to get a feel for the timing unless you really start pulling them. And who cares if you miss, y'all? This game sucks. 2K24, it sucks, y'all. Who cares if you miss? It's just a video game, man. I'm telling you, like, another thing, this right here. Y'all see how I'm just standing still? So many people cry about standing still on 2K, y'all. It's literally a badge in the game called Claymore, where if you stand still, it boosts your shot to where it's basically an automatic green. I don't care if you're the point guard, shooting guard, power four, center, whatever, y'all. Learn how to just stand still. Take advantage of all the badges at your disposal. That was a game winner. That was a game winner, y'all. Don't be scared to shoot shots like that, man. Like, game on the line, y'all. Don't be scared. I don't care if it, that was an open shot, but I don't care if it's contested. Don't be scared, y'all. It's just a game. Not even a good game at that. But look, y'all. Here's the jump shots. This is the best point guard jump shot, okay? This is what I've been using on my 5'8 and on my 6'4. Okay, so Trey Burke base, Colin Section release, and Stephen Curry release too, y'all. Here's the blend, maximum speed. I don't have Patty Mills yet, y'all. So if you don't have Patty Mills, this is the jump shot I would recommend on a small guard. Okay, Trey Burke. Y'all seen how I was pulling with it even in Pro-Am. But Trey Burke is basically like Tracy McGrady, but for a small guard. Okay, I've tried Curry Bass. I've tried John Stockton Bass, Jerry West Bass, Kyrie Irving Bass, um, uh, Malcolm Brogdon Bass, Allen Iverson, everything. I've tried everything on a small guard, y'all, until I get Patty. And I'm telling y'all, Trey Burt is the best base for small guards. So if you really want to shoot crazy shots, if you want to shoot contested, stuff like that, try out the Trey Burt base and try these releases. And y'all all know if you're 6'6", six, six, if you're a swing, T-Mac is the best base, y'all. So I'm not even going to bother putting the T-Mac jump shot. But here's the best jump shot for all my bigs. Y'all seen how my center was shooting. If you want to hit and one three points on your center, if you want to pull full court on your center, hit crazy red contest, 100% smother. If you want to shoot stuff like that on your center, put on Michael Porter Jr. base, y'all. MPJ base is the best base for centers. Kevin Durant is another good one, but in my opinion, y'all, MPJ feels better. It's smoother. It's easier to time. It hits more contested. So Michael Porter Jr. base. And for the release, y'all, I always go double Dirk Nowitzki on the release for my centers. Y'all saying the proof was in the pudding, y'all. It can't get contested like that. Like, I know those were red contests, like a 65% contest, but if you had just Tim Duncan, Marvin Bagley release, that would say 100% smothered, y'all. I'm telling you, if you're a big man, try out the pure dirt and the whiskey upper, and especially this jump shot specifically, it's money ball. But look, y'all, that's going to be all the tips that I have for this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, go down to the comment section, man. Run my comments up, y'all. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Do y'all want my 6-4 build video? Um, do y'all want um, center gameplay, program gameplay? What all do y'all want, man? Go down to the comment section. Let me know. Other than that, hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. And peace.